Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today I'm doing an iPhone 12 Pro Max <laughs> unboxing. So we're leaving Miami in May and we kind of wanted to upgrade our phones because we've had them a couple of years. I also like the fact that the new phones have the like wide angle view which I think would be really handy when traveling. Um, they obviously also seem great for the photographs seem better, everything just kind of seems better so we thought we'd upgrade. I went for the Max and Jeremy went for the 12 Pro like the standard size. So I just thought I would kind of um, film myself unboxing it. Also something to mention, this is the first time I've bought myself a phone that I've wanted since pff, at least 10 years I'd say because I feel like once I first met Jeremy I bought one of his like uncle's old iPhones whatever and then I had or maybe next, I think the Le the Nexus, whatever they were called, remember those ones Jeremy? I bought the Nexus 4 or something, that was like my choice, but then after that I, the iPhone, I'm actually filming on it now here, I can't show you, it's an iPhone 10. Um, I bought that off some guy in Miami because it was cheaper than buying the real thing, so it's the first time I've kind of gone to store and bought the phone that I, well I didn't go into store because it's closed, bought it online and bought the phone that I actually want to get, so I'm super excited. I bought the gold phone because why not, everyone needs a little bit of sparkle in their life. Anyway, we're going to get into this. Um, so I bought the phone case which is actually the wrong size, I thought I'd got the 12 Pro Max, I actually got the 12 Pro. So if you have the 12 Pro by the way, this seems like a really nice phone case, um, especially if you have the gold colour, I'll show you it quickly. It's a Spigen, I don't really know how you call it, but it's got this like rubber casing around the side in this neutral colour, so I quite liked that, but they don't do it in the max size which is annoying. So I'm going to have to send that back and I've just ordered a new phone case which will come on Monday. So I really don't think I'm going to use my new phone until Monday because I'm the kind of person that will drop it and like scratch it the first day that I use it. So I'm probably just going to unbox it today and probably not use it until Monday. Um, but I wanted to show you that anyway, it's something that I bought but I won't actually be keeping. And the other thing I bought is a screen protector. Now this one seems a little bit different, like the way that you install it. So I might do that now as well and show you how that works. But this is the one I bought. I'll leave it linked below. Um, I'll leave everything linked below actually so you can see it all. But let's get into the iPhone. Okay, so it's very well packaged. It's not just floating around, which is quite good. It's actually stuck to the cardboard. And then I'm just going to peel this off. And there it is. So something I find with iPhones is their packaging is super sleek. I watched Jeremy open his the other day. I watched him open them together. Jeremy was like, no, I'm not going to open it together. So he didn't. But I watched him opening it and it looks so cool. So you take this tab and which way do you do it? That way? Backwards? Forwards? Oh, backwards. Okay. So you just pull it and then it all just falls off. Like there's no, you know you just have to get like a pair of scissors or a knife and chop it open. You don't have to do that. It just opens quite easily. And I really like this box as well, how it's black and gold. And that bit's actually embossed, so that bit's 3D, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, we're ready. Ooh! Eee! Oh my god, okay. This is so exciting. <laughs> it's, gold. it's gold, it's huge. So I've seen this phone in stores. Um, so I have seen how big it is. And I remember we went to a Best Buy and I was like trying it in my jeans pockets to make sure it fit in and it does. There's the three cameras on the back there. It's so pretty, sorry I'll show you, it's so pretty. I like how it's not super gold and I remember some of the previous um, versions were kind of pinky gold. I don't really like pinky gold, like rose gold, I prefer this colour, so that's cool. Um, so I bought a phone case, like I said, that's just a clear one actually, so that'll be good. I think this, the screen protector, I think it comes with protectors for the lenses as well, I think. So we'll see how that gets on. Oh my god, I'm so scared to drop it and break it. Um, so it comes with this white um, sheet of plastic, or paper I guess, on the top, and you just... Peel that off. Um, oh my god, that is huge. Like that is huge to be next to your face and holding it and things. It's quite heavy, it's heavier than I remember. But anyway, okay, so that's the phone. 
I'm going to see what comes inside. So there is, oh, that's to put your SIM card in and some information and a sticker. Never use the stickers. I wish I would stop doing that, but never mind. Sticker and the charger. Now the interesting thing about these is that they have that MagSafe thing so you can charge it just by putting it on like a charging pad but you don't get that included with the phone which I think is kind of cheap. You could do with including one of those I think. But we have the charger anyway which is good. I've already got a few of these so it's always good to have an extra. It's not the same one. It's not the same one? No. It's not the same as the other chargers? What's different? The like voltage or whatever? The size the, the, on the iPhone is the same. But if you look the other side, that's a USB-C, so you can plug it to your laptop. But the vault, I can still use my old phones for the... Yeah. Okay. But okay. That's... So I don't know if you heard, Jeremy, because the microphone's facing this way, but basically this is a phone charger side and then a USB-C 3. C. C? USB-C. USB-C? No, 3. USB-C side, so you can plug that into my Mac and then charge my phone with my Mac, which is quite good, because oftentimes, actually, I'm sat here working, my phone was out of battery, so I either have to get one of our external battery charger things, or plug my phone in next to the bed. So actually having been able to plug it into my computer, I think it'd be good. So, okay, I'll keep that out then. I'm just gonna keep it in the bag, but actually I'll take that out, because I think that will be useful. So that's good, it's just in white, and it's, oh my God, it's tangled. It's this long, in case you were curious. Um, so I'm going to keep that in there because I don't particularly need that. That can go in the bin, I don't need that. And then we can close that back up. Oh my god, I'm so scared of touching this. I think because I haven't got the screen protector on there and because I haven't got the case either, like I'm so scared of dropping it. Although, does it have dints? Oh no, it's the detail. Okay, the side details here, I thought I had a dint in it already. I was not happy. Okay, so, can you turn it on without a, without a SIM card in it? How do I turn it on? Oh, it's turning on, okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this on as well, so I'll, you know, I'll show you guys how to use this one. This is the Caster Easy Fit by Spygen. It's just something, I think Jeremy got um, one for his phone this size, this, this brand, but for his phone size, so I just got the same as him. Okay, hello. Hi. Hola. Bye, bello, por ouvre. Okay. Okay, English. Okay, US. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this phone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for settings, for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has a Bluetooth turned on while well, it's there. Does it have to be not filming? You have to press a button. It has to be pre close. So okay. Gonna We're going to stop filming this section. So I can set up my phone. Ooh! Okay, so <laughs> now I can show you a comparison. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 10. So size is slightly different. Um, I also want to do some videos, by the way, comparing the cameras because I'm a photographer. Um, and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube saying that this compares to a DSLR and people can't tell the difference. So I'm intrigued to try the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 12. Pro Max together and also the iPhone versus maybe this camera, the Canon M50 and also versus a DSLR and see the differences. So we'll see. Okay, so set up new iPhone, continue. Hold your phone up to the camera, position the pattern in the circle. Enter passcode of your other phone. Can I still use my old phone even if I set up my new phone? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think it's transferring some information, so it's just going to take a minute. Does it transfer all the photos and videos? Good. I hope not, because it's the camera's full. Oh, Face ID. iPhone can recognise the unique three-dimensional features of your face to unlock automatically. Use Apple Pay, make purchases, or subscribe to services from Apple. Continue. So first position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in circle to show all angles of your face. Get started. Second scan complete. That's done. Transfer data from Rosanna's iPhone. 
You can transfer all its data and settings directly to this phone. Keep your other phone nearby and connect it to power until the transfer is completed. Estimated time 45 minutes. Do I do that? Transfer data. We're going to press continue and that's going to take 45 minutes to transfer the data from my old phone into my new phone. I'm guessing it's things like apps and contacts. I don't think it's photographs. I assume we said no. Um, so I was not just going to completely fill up my new phone. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to take about 45 minutes, so I'll be back once that has finished and I'll let you know what happened because I... Oh, terms and conditions, one second. Agree? Okay, I'll be back once this finishes and I'll kind of talk you through what happens. Hi guys, so it's a couple of days later. I'm sorry I look a little bit dishevelled. Um, I haven't showered since my weekend of yoga and I'm exhausted from that, but I really wanted to finish this video and kind of show you the two things that I've bought for it and kind of show you where I'm at now with my phone. So if I show you the display, so I actually changed the background to one of the iPhone backgrounds. This isn't something that I usually do, I tend to find kind of cute ones online, but I actually quite like this one. So I'm using this one, and I also changed my display. So with my previous phone, I created a video where I put all of my apps into colour um, folders and basically colour coordinated my whole phone. Now even though that looked pretty, um, I actually just reorganised this one so that, I think I've just spat on my phone, <laughs> I rearranged this phone so that the apps that I use every day or the apps that I want to use every day are on the home page, on the front page, and then my other important apps are on the second page when you swipe. So I actually have my settings, Notion, Insight Timer which is the meditation app that I want to start using daily hopefully, my phone app, uh, like as in calling people, um, YouTube Studio, Google Calendars, Gmail, Slack, WhatsApp, Preview, Repost and Bound which is my reading app. So I've kind of got these two here because I hope that will remind me to read and meditate. And then the other important ones are here. Now I have organised it by colour slightly. So I've got settings top left just because I'm used to having it there for my old phone. So I always click there automatically anyway. So I put my settings on the top left. And then the other apps are kind of organised by colour, so I have the whiter ones and then moving into the colourful ones and then the two colourful ones here and a blue and, an or um, a, blue and a green Sorry, either side of that. And then here again it goes from light to dark, so I have the white ones, the colourful ones and then the black ones. So all the other apps are obviously in the app library here, um, so I can swipe across or I can always swipe down to type something in if I want to. Um, but I've just kind of organised it so the most important apps are on the home page. Um, so that's kind of it for now. I have been using this slightly on and off um, for the past couple of days. I'm still, I still have my SIM card in my old phone, which I'm filming on right now. So I've not transferred the SIM card over and I've kind of used this for taking photographs and videos and Instagram and things like that. So I'm kind of using both at the moment. So today I'm going to hopefully switch over to this phone and stop using my old phone. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to show you two things. So I bought the... Um, Another phone case, I bought one that I really liked, it had a kind of trim around it, like a sand beige colour trim, it looked really pretty but it was the wrong size, that was my mistake in Amazon. Um, so I bought this one which is the Spiegel and this is just a clear case because like I said earlier, this is the first time I'm buying a phone that I like the colour of, like this lovely gold colour, so I thought a see-through case will not hide the colour basically, rather than getting you know like a white case or a pink case, at least I can see the lovely gold colour. Um, that might change in the future. I have, I actually found a website I really liked, I'll try and look it below if I remember, um, and it had really lovely phone cases, but I just, like I just said, I kind of wanted to keep this display, just use a plastic one, but I might change my mind in the future, we will see. But this is just the Spygen Ultra Hybrid case, again I'll leave it linked below if I remember. But before I put that on, I've got to do the um, glass thing. Now this is a two pack, this is again Spygen, and this is a different um, installation, I think, from the last ones that I had. So I'm intrigued to find out how this works. And we can do this together. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is, by the way, this is the glass for the front screen. So it says to wipe clean. Um, so before applying, remove any stickers or screen protectors on your screen. Wash your hands and use the cleaning wipe to remove the oil, the dust and oil on the device. Okay, so we're going to wipe it first with a cleaning wipe. 
Last time I did this, by the way, guys, I managed to get a piece of fluff or dust right in the middle of my screen protector, so I'm not a pro at this. And then dry it using this one. It's annoying doing these because if you miss just one piece of dust, it's super annoying. So I'm just. Why use a sticker to get rid of the dust? Yeah, I oh, will. I'm just. Just a normal thing they want to much around here. Okay. Now we're going to use the dust removal sticker. Oh, I just touched it with my finger. Jeremy's here laughing at me, not helping. <laughs> Jeremy's laughing at me. I'm using that light to check if there's any dust. Well, last time I was super careful and I still managed to get a piece of dust right in the middle, so I'm being super, super careful. Okay, now what do we do? I don't want any fingerprints or dust. Okay, like that. Yeah, and, then just... and then... Make sure you have the top on top. It's a sign on case. But... Top. And then how do you know where it... Well, you just fit there. Okay, it's on. Well, the middle stuff will say slide. Oh! Pull this. Okay. And then lift this off. Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay. And then you peel the paper. And then you use that to scan the middles. What is that? What is that there? Jeremy, help, help. And there was something here as well. That's right. Here. Is that alright? Thanks, cool. And then I'm just going to give it a little wipe with this. And there we go. Okay, maybe turn your phone off if you ever do this because it is annoying when it keeps turning on. Oh, that looks pretty good. I don't think there's any dust in it this time. Good, and then I'm going to use this to actually clean the back of the phone as well before I put the case on it. This case on it. So that I don't have all the fingerprints and things showing. It's on there. It's going to be impossible to get that on without leaving fingerprint marks around the edge. But that's it on basically. So that's with the screen protector and with the uh, phone case. I also ordered from um, Pop Socket. Rather than having one that's always stuck on there, I thought about getting the case that has the Pop Socket that kind of folds into the case, but it seemed quite thick. So. Um, pop socket has something where it's kind of removable, it stretches across your phone and has a pop socket on there so you can put it on and take it off as and when you want to, so I've ordered that. Um, but yeah, that's it. We are good to go. I think this lip will protect the camera lens on the back there, so that should be good. Um, but yeah, is that... uh oh. No, okay. Good. So I'm now actually going to start using this phone. So I'm going to stop recording here. 
put my SIM card in, put it all back together and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've cleaned the back and the sides and I've put the case on so now I haven't got any fingerprints around the sides. And that's it, that's my new phone. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, like I said earlier, I'll leave it linked below like everything else that I've used. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a little bit random and a little bit all over the place. Um, but I will be doing some videos comparing this iPhone 12 Pro to my iPhone 10 in terms of the camera for sure. Probably not the specifics in terms of the iPhone specs and stuff like that, more just the photography from a photographer's point of view. Um, and also comparing to this camera that I'm filming on, which is the Canon M50, and probably also my big DSLR camera as well, so that I can kind of compare, because people keep saying that they're the same, like same quality iPhone versus DSLR. So I'd like to try that myself and kind of give my verdict because I don't quite think so. So it'd be interesting to see what I think of that. So make sure you subscribe so you can watch those videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye!